Hey guys, this is Jeff, and I'm coming to you with a video from my little arcade area down here. And uh, I am going to uh, do a little video here of the Galaga machine. And uh, what I'm going to do with this thing is, as you can see up here, a high score of 20,000. Um, that is because when you turn it on and off, the high score resets. Well, I have a little Galaga enhancement pack, which will give us the high score abilities uh, to preserve the high scores and a bunch of other stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and walk through that with you. But just wanted to introduce what we were going to do here and uh, just give you another shot of the Galaga machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that baby out. I'm going to open up the back and get everything ready, and I will be back in a few minutes. Okay, guys, back. Uh, I'm back here, and um, just wanted to show you real quick. Uh, this I got this from Mike'sArcade.com, and uh, it's the Galaga Enhancement Pack, and uh, this is all there is to it. It's this this little chip here. Um, I'm going to remove a chip and uh, insert it into this slot here off the board, and uh, we'll also be using this G5 chip um, but not not the G6 um, on uh, on mine because mine is a Midway or Namco and I'm not sure yet because I have not looked at it yet but uh, that's the pack right there and I uh, just thought I would show you the inside of the cabinet here I got the back off right so uh, up here is obviously the monitor so hopefully you can see okay um, but um, there's a monitor up there so Wells Gardner monitor I um, don't know the model number do not take any of uh, my advice on everything in here as expert advice because I don't know um, there is uh, I've only opened up a couple of these uh, my millipede one was the first one and now this is the second one so, but what I do know, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, anybody that sees this video, but uh, that's the power transformer, possibly. I don't know the terminology, but then uh, I believe that's the power supply right there. And uh, over on that wall right there, I th believe, from what I've read, is the a high speed chip, um, which we're not going to use. Um, and then I don't know what that is right there, but uh, you, this little sucker, pops on and off, and uh, so I don't really know what that is. But I'm gonna leave it up the way it was. And then uh, this is the board right here, and so there's a it's a double board. One's a video card, and uh, one is the actual PCB. Um, and uh, I'm going to take a guess that. Um, since this cable here is coming from the monitor and going to there um, that that would be the video card on that side and the PCB is on that side so what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to take that PCB out and I'm going to lay it out and then we're going to um, do what we did with the millipede machine if you haven't seen that one you can check that one out but just wanted to show you the insides real quick um, hopefully you could see that okay I was just using a lamp to um, to show you the insides but Anyway, I will be back once I get that baby out of there. Alright y'all, we got um, the PCB out here. And uh, I've got the PCB side flipped up. Um, as you can see, it's um, together. It came out together. It's got a nice little uh, ribbon cable here that ties the two boards together. And uh, they're mounted together, so they came out together. But uh, this is the PCB. And uh, the chips that we'll be replacing is this one here, which is called the Z80A. Um, I don't notice that it says that on there, but the instructions say that that's the chip. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take this chip right here, and we're going to replace it. Then we're going to take that chip and put it in here first, and then put the whole piece in. And then the other chip is an EEPROM, uh, and it's the G5. And um, 
it's in the 3J slot. You can't see that probably, but it says 3J right there. So we're going to pull that one out, and then we're going to put this one in. And I will be back in a moment after I do that, because I can't video it at the same time. Okay, guys, I just wanted to show you the finished product here. Um, uh, this is the G5 chip that uh, I put in right there that um, was the replacement for this chip uh, and again the G6 will not get used on this board uh, it's for another I think a clone board of some sort um, and then I took this chip out which was a little tricky um, the plastic part actually started to come off the board itself a little so I hope I didn't screw that up um, but it went back on okay and then the pins were not lined up exactly right so it was a little tricky getting that baby back into this board um, and then I just had to apply a lot of pressure to get this thing in there so anyway that's the chips and I'm gonna go ahead and slide it back in there and we will see what happens okay guys I got everything back in there and I am going to go ahead and turn it on um, try to video this as I reach over to turn it on to give her a test and hopefully she will come up that was a good sign that we heard it and there it is so it comes up a little differently and you can see that the high score is set to zero and it comes in with demo mode and uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you where the test switch is on the Galaga machine here. This is the coin door, obviously. Right? So the original coin door. Um, if you open that up, hopefully you can see this. But right there, that little black switch is the test switch. And um, the... Um, Red one, I'm not positive. It says credit switch. I'm not positive what that means. Um, not sure if that's the credit counter, coin counter, possibly. Because uh, the coin counter, an interesting note, actually has 130,000 coins. 130,000 and three coins. And I know it's working um, because it was at 129,999 or something like that a few minutes ago. Uh, or at least the last time I looked in here. And um, so I'm going to go, go ahead and hit this switch here. And then when I hit the switch, there we go. It resets and it goes into this menu uh, and shows me everything that is, all the settings, all the dip switch settings. And so I read up on this, and really we can't change the settings from here, most of them. Um, you can see that it does the round checks, and then it's upright, and uh, one coin, one credit, three, fighter, three fighters, uh, rank A. So right now, if we go to the dip switch settings, uh, you can actually switch the settings, and you'll be able to see what you have here. So if for some reason you're confused but at a moment's glance you can see that it's one coin one credit three fighters we could switch this to five we could switch the rank from A to B C or D on uh, uh, on difficulty it was actually on D before and um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at A for the moment just to see the difference and I'm gonna leave it at three fighters to keep it sort of, I don't know what the default was when uh, they first shipped these things, but I'd like to leave this at the default. I don't think this was the default with the bonuses. I'm not, I don't really remember. No, yeah, I think it was. I remember getting an extra guy at 20,000, I think. Maybe it was 30. Anyway, you can see my monitor flickers like that. If anybody knows why it flickers, um, I don't know if that's a cap kit. I don't know what's been done to this monitor. I thought it had some work done on it, but uh, in gameplay, it just kind of flickers every once in a while in various spots. But um, fire select is enabled. That is a really cool feature that this board in, uh, includes, and uh, and it also shows you here if you do the fire and the two-player start. So I'll go ahead and do that. 
What that does is one is one player start is to confirm the reset of the high scores and two player start is to cancel. I'll just hit it because there's no high scores right now anyway. High score table reset. So that's how you can actually reset your high score from this menu. And uh, this fire select enabled. So I'll show you that in just a minute what that does. And that's really cool because um, it allows you to select um, regular fire or rapid fire. So let me do the test switch again. Switch it back. And it brings me back to here. Uh, let me grab a couple. Well, actually, I don't need quarters. I'll just flip the thing. Okay, so I add a couple credits. Hold on one second. All right. There's one, two. All right. So what I'll show you is, is like if I press two player. For your first player, it says select firing speed. So before you start your game, if I push the joystick to the left, it'll go slow, slow fire, and joystick to the right is fast. Right. So I'll go ahead and do slow, which is the normal speed. Right. Everybody is probably used to the fast speed nowadays, but originally. This is as fast as you would fire. And if you wanted to fire faster, you just had to press faster and get good timing. So that's it. Right? So I'm going to go ahead and die. And then I'll show you player two when he comes up. There, now player two. Right? So if I want to play against my son, which this is, I'm actually pretty good at this Galaga. This was one of my games. I mean, this was like. This and Miss Pac-Man were my favorites when I was a kid, so I got pretty good at this one. If I want to play my son and we want to be competitive, he can go to fast mode, right? So now watch. Extremely fast. This is even faster than, like, I'm just doing all this with one hand and I'm killing almost everything. So that is really, really fast. So anyway, that is something that is really cool um, addition for this Galaga pack, and uh, as you will eventually see, that this high score, um, I'm not going to go through it right now because I don't want to take up too much time, but this will preserve the high scores, and it also shifts these things over. Apparently, if you actually got up to a million, it would reset to zero um, instead of going to like a million whatever. Well, now it'll actually not only go to a, like seven characters, it'll do eight characters. Um, so that's another feature. And um, if you have any questions about this, um, let me know. If you have any comments also, please let me know. Uh, if there's anybody out there that sees anything that I said wrong, also let me know. But um, I don't know who uh, JPR is. Maybe that's the person who created this because um, I actually don't know for sure. But uh, anyway, that is Galaga, and that is the Enhancement Pack. I hope that you uh, enjoy this if you're planning on putting an Enhancement Pack in so you can see how it's done, um, just the inside of the Galaga machine. So we're pretty excited about the Galaga machine, and I will update you on it uh, later on when I have any to, to do. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.